Hi, I'm Anisha and I've got a GitHub feature for you to check out. So if you've been following along the GitHub change log post, you've seen all of the amazing features that we've been shipping recently. But for these checkout videos, we'll be hearing more from the folks that have actually built these features and see a demo of it too. So for this checkout video, we'll be hearing more from Bilal around private pages. Take it away, Bilal. Hello, Anisha, and hi, everyone. My name is Bilal, and I work on Pages and Actions. So we have been hearing from our enterprise customers that they use GitHub Pages to host publicly viewable content, such as documentation or land landing page on for open source projects. But we also have been hearing that they want to get more out, out from pay GitHub Pages. They want to use GitHub Pages to create sites for folks only for their enterprise. They also want to use GitHub Pages to create and collaborate on internal documentation. So today I'm very excited to announce that we have a new feature on GitHub Pages that would unlock this and many new opportunities for our enterprise customers. We're calling this feature Access Control on GitHub Pages. So access, in a nutshell, Access Control for GitHub Pages enables organizations to restrict access to their deployed pages side. Let me show you how it works. So to create a restricted website, you start with the private repository, you push content to it, and then you can go to GitHub pages settings and just publish the repository as a GitHub page. You now have a page that is visible only to those that have access to the repository. You can access the page with the same credential that you use to log into com. If you already have a public page, you can change the visibility of it by going to the GitHub page settings and choosing private. So Bilal, I've got a question for you. How does the access permissions on GitHub pages work? Yeah, I'm glad you asked this question because I will then get to talk about my favorite part. So one of the coolest thing about GitHub pages is that it inherits access permissions from the repo. This means that users with read access can view the page and members with write access can edit and send a PR directly from the page. As part of the release, we're also making it possible for org admins to enforce that all GitHub pages within the organizations be published publicly, privately, or both. Great. So what if I'm an enterprise and I want to publish content that is viewable to all members of the enterprise? Would I need to give everyone access permission to the repo? Yes, I mean, that will be one way, but we have a much simple and elegant way to solve this problem. Instead of using private repos, you can just use internal repos. With internal repos, everyone in your enterprise will have access to the page and can access it with, and can view the page with the same credential they use to log into github.com. Perfect. So go ahead and check out the new private pages feature and let us know what you think about it, as well as any other features that we've shipped recently as well, because we'd love to hear what you think. And if you like these videos, go ahead and like and subscribe and let us know what you think about these two. And you'll see more GitHub checkout videos coming your way very soon.